Here it is. It's been a year since his father succumbed to COVID-19. But for Sean Troy, the pain is still raw. That's why I don't visit his grave. Real emotional. <laughs> As a second generation funeral director, Troy has a professional relationship with death, but no one is immune to grief. You know, I just never envisioned myself looking at my father's nameplate, tombstone or anything. I knew it would come, but I never thought it would be this soon. The coronavirus pandemic has had a disproportionate impact on the black community. It has also taken a heavy toll on those who provide the final service to that community. Harry P. Close of the National Funeral Directors and Morticians Association says the disease has claimed around 130 of his colleagues, not counting support staff. He says African-American funeral tradition has much to do with it. We are more celebration, uh, no disrespect to uh, my colleagues across the country. Um, we're, we're more, um, I should say, uh, intimate more, more because of our culture base. In our community, in the African-American community, the funeral director is the most, most prominent individual. And we are the pillars in our community. That's what William Penn Troy Sr. was to Marion County, South Carolina. The son of a brick mason, Troy apprenticed with a local funeral home while still in high school, opening his own business in 1973. But he was much more than just a businessman. This is my father here. Troy was a county councilman, school board member, and treasurer of his church. The Troys have buried three generations of Betty Reeves' family, most recently her brother, Ernest Godbolt, who died of cancer. But Penn Troy was also there when the family needed money or when Reeves needed a job. He was there for you whatever you was going through. That dedication to his community put him in harm's way. Being the face of the business, the elder Troy was reluctant to hide it behind a mask. I see him in his office and he's wearing his mask and it's just up under the nose and the mouth covering. And I have to go up and cover that nose up. Two days after officiating at this funeral in June 2020, Penn Troy fell ill and was rushed to the hospital. He died two months later, at age 76. The esteem in which he was held was on full display at a recent ceremony to dedicate a section of busy U.S. Highway 76 in his honor. Uh, he was involved. Um, he was connected. He was respected. The patriarch was laid to rest in Hillcrest Cemetery, which he developed. During his first service there following his father's death, Sean Troy made his way to the grave. He says his father's voice came to him. You know, I got you. you know, I've trained you for this all your life. You've been ready to do this. Now it's your time. He knows he'll never get over his father's death. But I, I get through it. Alan Breed, Associated Press, Mullins, South Carolina.